Well, I would really like to talk to you today about adapting to the new culture in the country you're going to. Uh, things are going to be totally different uh, many times. Uh, there are places like China or India or Taiwan where you may not shake hands. You may bow uh, or you may make a symbol with your hands, uh, but there will be other ways of greeting. And so you've got to learn to adapt to the culture, the culture and the country you're going to be living in. Um, I grew up very differently than my wife. My wife grew up in a very loving and sweet and kind family. I mean, the even our family cultures between Betty and I are so different. Between Betty and me are different. Betty's family, they hugged, uh, they kissed on the mouth for years. Um, uh, they gave goodnight kisses before they went to bed. They said good morning and gave hugs and kisses in the morning. I mean, they were just extremely warm and kind people. Fact is, when I married Betty, uh, her daddy and her still kissed on the mouth. Her mama kissed her on the mouth. Her brother kissed her on the mouth. That's just the way it was. It was culture in their family. Don't think it's weird. Your family's got your own weird little cultures. And uh, But I didn't want to do that, man. I came up in a home where we didn't hug. We didn't shake hands. We didn't hardly say hi to each other. Uh, it was just a totally a different situation. Uh, and I didn't know that what I how I was being raised was wrong, and Betty didn't know how she was being raised was wrong, and I'm not saying it was wrong. I'm just saying it's different. And that's something you learn as a, a missionary is you learn that things that are different aren't necessarily wrong unless there's a clear scriptural mandate. I got married to Betty. I told her, I said, look, uh, no more kissing your family on the mouth because I'm not kissing them by proxy. Well, I got to Mexico. Lord, help me. You know, Americans, we stick out the hand and shake hands. Hey, how you doing? And uh, 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 some churches, you know, you might give that little half hug, that brother hug. But, man, I got to Mexico, and it was slap up here, handshake here, a hug here. In certain parts of, of South America, you reach in, you shake hands, then you hug, then you back up and shake hands, and you're done. In other parts of South America, men actually kiss men on the cheek. You put your cheek against their cheek, and make a kissing sound and you do that with the men and you do that with the women. In other parts of the country, you do uh, men kiss the women, but they don't kiss the other men. Uh, I don't know how many times I've been kissed on the face by men and women and children. Uh, I've been hugged and touched and laid on and, and all over the world. And that's not the way I was raised at all. I'll be honest with you, it felt really strange to me, but I had to learn to adapt. That's the key to being a missionary. You've got to learn to be all things to all men so that by all means you might win some to Christ. You don't want to go in and say, I'm a Jew and this is the way I do things and you Gentiles are wrong. We can read that in the Bible and we would agree with that. We'd say, no, uh, uh, Peter was wrong for dealing with it that way and Paul was right because he adapted. But some of us, when we go to the mission field, man, we got a terrible attitude. It's like if you don't do it the American way, you're wrong. And that is so wrong on our part, and it so drastically hinders what we're going to do. You have to learn to adapt. You have to learn to adapt. That doesn't mean when you, you come back to America that necessarily you're going to bring with, it, with you. You can adapt to wherever you are. And it's not hypocritical, and it's not wrong. If you go to somebody's house where they take their shoes off, take your shoes off. What's the big deal? If you go to somebody else's house where they leave their shoes on, leave your shoes on. In other words, just adapt. Fit in as best you can. That's how you lead people to Christ. You don't come in acting all weird. If you do, you won't be able to do as much about getting people saved. And so I just want you to know, I learned how to hug. And you got to understand that is so foreign to who I am. I was raised without doing that, and it's foreign to who I am. I don't hug uh, very well. Uh, it's not my personality, but you got to learn to adapt. And that means that you learn to hold your hands if you're in the place that does that. You bow if you're in the place that does that. If you're in the place where they kiss you and kiss you, uh, I've had them kiss me and kiss me and kiss me. And uh, you've just got to decide I am going to treat these people the way their culture teaches, not the way my culture. I'd be in Africa, and I don't know if you can see this, but somebody would come up to me, and they would take their hand, and they'd hold it out like that, and they put their other hand under their arm, and they shook my hand, and they kind of gave a, a, a curtsy. 
And I know every time I see that, that's somebody from Africa in certain countries in a way they show respect. And I can spot it in a heartbeat. So we want to love people and we want to adapt. We want to accept that the way they do things is the right way, not the wrong way. It's different, but it's not wrong. It's maybe not the way you do things, but you can adapt. And even in our marriages, you know, if you're a Southerner married a Northerner, it's not so much true today as it was when I was a kid. There's just differences in the way we do things. So learn to accept that. I thank you so much for listening and watching things on this channel. I, I wish you'd share it with somebody if you like it. If you do like it, give it a like down at the very bottom and then share it and subscribe to the channel. I sure appreciate your help. You're being a blessing to me and I hope we are a blessing to you.